Hi students, let us continue with the disk scheduling algorithm. So the first uh, disk scheduling algorithm is first come first serve that I already explained in the previous video. Now let coming to the next disk scheduling algorithm that is the shortest C time first. SSTF. Shortest C time first. So here the name itself is saying that we have to take first whatever the uh, shortest seek time that comes that ha we have to be taken so in the first come first so means whatever the number that will be placed on the queue that we have taken so what whatever the number that is placed on the first that has to be taken so in the sequence in the series but here we have to take uh, the shortest seek time which track is having the shortest seek time that has to be taken first that indicates the shortest seek time first let me write that so in shortest seek time first request having shortest seek time or executed first so which whatever the track that is having the shortest seek time that has to be executed first and next so the seek time so the seek time of every request is calculated so before only we have to calculate of the every request whatever the ivo request that we are giving so that we have to calculate the seek time of every request every request is calculated in advance in queue so in advance in queue we have to calculate it and we have to schedule according to their seek time according to their seek time so here uh, before only before placing the uh, in the queue only we have to calculate the seek time of uh, every request whatever the request that we are giving the track number so for that we have to calculate the seek time means the time taken that arm has to reach the desired position okay and next as a result request near the disk arm will be will get executed first will get executed first so this is about the shortest seek time first then what about the advantages and disadvantages in this the advantages or average response time is increased when compared to the first come first serve average response time will be increased and throughput also sorry average time was decreased i'm sorry average response time means it is responsing uh, the total it should be decreased it fastly it can respond whereas in first come first serve the average response time is increasing but here the average response time will be decreased and throughput will be increased then what about the disadvantages of using the SSTF the disadvantages are overhead to calculate the seek time in advance because we have to calculate every request whatever the request that the iowa is requesting so for each track we have to calculate the seek time in advance so that is a becomes overhead overhead to calculate the seek time in advance and there is a chance of starvation also because the higher seek time has to wait until it has to be until it serves causes starvation starvation means waiting for a long time whether it may get a chance or not that in case you call it as a starvation causes starvation for a request if it has higher seek time higher seek time so that is the uh, advantage and disadvantage of shortest seek time first now let us see the example for this just i'm taking the same example whatever taken for the first come first serve the example the disk contains let us take the disk contains 200 tracks that is from 0 to 199 and uh, request queue contains tracks 
request queue contains tracks track number 93 176 42 148 27 14 180 respectively and the current position of head current position of read write head was i am taking uh, the arm was be placed on at position 55 okay the track it was pos position at 55 now i had to calculate calculate total number of track movements by read write head using shortest to seek time first algorithm by using shortest to seek time first algorithm i had to calculate the stroke so the track 0 to the disc contains total 199 tracks 0 to 199 and the current position of read write head is somewhere 55 so this is the current position now i have to use that seek times so in the queue you are having the tracks okay these are the requests okay now i had to calculate the seek time for every request so the shortest seek time whatever that is that is having the shortest seek time that has to be visit first so 55 so from uh, from position 55 the shortest seek time i had to take some from 55 which was the nearest means nearest means the seek time means is nothing but the time taken okay to reach that particular to reach that particular task the time taken from the arm to reach the particular task that you call it as a seek time so here i am in that position 55 now i have to check whether this position left side is reaching the uh, shortest uh, arm means the arm is moving to the position left side or right side which is having the less uh, seek time now i am talking about the seek time so 55 before number is 42 okay so after is 93 so in between in 93 and 52 the 55 is present which is the nearest one 42 is nearest or 93 is nearest you just check the difference between these means that difference between this indicates a seek time that indicates the shortest seek time you have to be find out so 55 the nearest is 42 so just visit the 42 so from 42 you have to check so 42 the nearest one is 27 so next it visits 27 so don't take the smallest value just take the nearest means the arm has to reach the shortest the seek time means the time taken to reach that particular task okay so here from 55 to 42 the time distance time is less so that we have to be take that number has to be taken okay i reached 27 so after 27 the next nearest is 14 so it reached 14 so from 14 uh, what will be the nearest so 14 it already visit 27 for uh, 55 everything it visit from 14 the nearest should be 93 when compared to 93 176 93 176 148 and 180 so from all these the nearest from 14 is 93 only so it just go back to 93 from 93 through it goes to 148 that is 148 next 176 next 180 so this is how the shortest seek time first will be do means we are just seeing the uh, the time the shortest time not the shortest track number just see the time when compared to this this will be the nearest when compared to this uh, this will be the nearest okay so 27 or 93 or 14 which one is the nearest 27 is the nearest to 42 27 14 is the nearest to 27 like this so the total time the total number of tracks moved uh, moment by read write head using shortest seek time first is 
55. So this is one direction. 55 minus 14 and the next direction means this is forward one moment. So next change the direction. So from 14 to 180. So 180 minus 14. Total you get 207. So 207 is the total number of track movements by read right head using shortest seek time first. Thank you.